summer fashion, bro, I get it in the fall. Y'all about to start hating, and I don't mind at all. I'm a thriller like MJ, and my flow is off the wall. Who they? Who they? It's gotta be my imagination. I think it's in their face. I think it's in their face. I think it's in their face. They not from around here. I think it's in their face. Who they? Who they? They not from around here. It's gotta be my imagination. I think it's in their face. I think it's in their face. I think it's in their face. Man, they not from around here. I think it's in their face. Greetings, Earthlings. I am Wallace. I am Wallow, I am Wallow, I live life like there's no tomorrow, Chris King, KG, N-O-O-B, what homes you ain't know, we're U-F-O, cargo khakis, polos, and fresh kicks, that's the definition of what the cargo kids is, S-O-S, yes, space style swagger, I never do anything right, I'm backwards, I'm so galactic, so erratic, you niggas on my old swag, you can have it, the world is mine, and your girl is too, so do us a favor, make room for the crew, wow. Who they, who they, they're not from around it's gotta be my imagination, I think it's in their face, I think it's in their face, I think it's in their face, they not from around here, I think it's in their face, who they, who they, they're not from around it's gotta be my I think it's in their face. I think it's in their face. I think it's in their face. Man, they not from around here. I think it's in their face. Yeah, we're and back. we live, baby. Yeah. Welcome to the mothership, bitches. How y'all doing today? Man, terrific. Terrific. We're terrific. Here. We're here. <laughs> Shout out to all the viewers, to everybody uh, listening, to everybody watching. What's up, we y'all? Appreciate you joining Hi. us. We got uh, we have Starla. We have Shannon Southall. We have Ronnie Odom. What's up, Mouse? What's up, homie? Uh, Hope faithfully watches us, and I have yet to to give her a shout out. Shout out to Hope. Thank you, thank, thank you, you for tuning in. There's Sky. How you doing, Sky? We did we discussing the trailer earlier, so hit us back. We still trying to get that. So um, Sky's the one that I was telling you about that had the uh, the camper. Oh, shout out to Sky. Hey, hold on. Sky, we need that now. camper, please. Yo, yes. thank Sky, you. thank you very much for being the one to uh, hit. Demario up so we can, like, we're, are we getting the camper? I well, we'll talk about it. All right, we'll, we'll talk, talk about, about it. it. Yeah. But thank you very much for even reaching out. Like, we really appreciate you. Um, like that support right there. That's love. Thank you for all that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Um, who else we got? We got Pat Jackson. Let me tell you about Pat Jackson. Pat Jackson is gonna come on here. She is working on some. I think it's some centers for homeless. And I've got a girl that's going to come on here that's going to talk about being homeless while she's on here promoting the centers for being homeless. You know? Yes. So. Yes. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Jasmine Armstrong. You know, we do uh, closed drives every year for the homeless. Yeah. So, so maybe y'all need to link up. And... That's exactly what's going to happen. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yo, but hey, hey, guys, what y'all been doing this week? So far? <laughs> this is an early recording. This yeah, is, uh, for real. What y'all been up to? Um, it's been a busy week for me. I had uh, I had a lot of crazy stuff going this week. Some stuff I can't even discuss out here, man. Oh, yeah, it's been a good but, week. Yeah, but for the most part, it's been good. But it's been crazy too. So I had some some drama pop up in my life and everything oh, for man. a hot man. It was just one day, but it was it was enough it was to to remind me 
<laughs> that drama is here. You know what I'm saying? Like it's been a long time since mm-hmm. I had to deal with drama. So, what but it's we? still ever present. Yeah, I feel you, man. Yeah. So. Rach, what about well, you? Well, you know, starting my new job. How you like? Well, it? not really starting it, but this is my marks my second week of being on the floor. Um, it's all right. It's not bad. It's, yeah. Uh, I mean. I've been pulling overtime this week, and I'm fucking dog tired. And if a lot of the viewers can't tell, I kind of sound a little sick. Yeah, so. she's been under the weather, y'all. Uh, so. But we're going to uh, fix that with uh, holistic remedies. Yes. <laughs> no garlic, because evidently I'm allergic to it topically. Yeah. And I looked like a meth head for, uh, I don't know how many days, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's my camera. Yeah, there it <laughs> like, is. It's up there. Where did it go? <laughs> yeah, Sorry. It was a it was a better angle up there, and I actually brought it down a little bit since we're not doing like a bunch of guests and stuff tonight. We're just chilling with y'all tonight. We're just well, kicking it. Anything you want to talk to us about? That's what we're here for tonight. Is there anything y'all us want us to questions. talk about? Like, oh wait, 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 wait. Let's pause real quick. Okay. Uh, shout out to Dale Earnhardt Jr. We hope that we just got news that his plane crashed with his family on it. And I'm a big fan of Dale Earnhardt and Jr. You're right here, and buddy. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and I just really hope that everybody is safe. Uh, we got word that everybody did um, survive. They're just in the hospital right now, but we wish the best of them. Um, prayers up for the whole Earnhardt family. So I just want to throw that out there real quick. Okay. Raise hell, praise Dale. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, so everyone is okay with that? Like everyone survived? No. Mm-hmm. Okay. Everyone right. survived. They're just in the hospital getting checked over right now. Can you imagine? They have a VR game about getting um, getting in an airplane crash, and you put the goggles on and shit, and like you literally have to get out of that bitch alive. You know what I'm saying? What? Yeah, it's a V. It's you know they got the Oculus, oh, the shit. VR. Yes, I want to get into VR. Any of the viewers in the VR, let me know. Mister Clean, Josh Turner, what's up? Hey, Mister Clean. What's yeah, up? What's, yeah. What's up? Shout out. Yeah. So, what about anything else besides being sick? What you got? Um, oh, so I was not here for the past few Sundays. Sorry, guys. Um, we missed you. But I have good reasons. Uh, one of the reasons is because, you know, I was sick. Mm-hmm. Uh, another reason is because uh, I was out of town and um, I went and saw an Alice Cooper uh, concert. Yeah. So, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. It was motionless and white, hailstorm, and um, Alice Cooper, all at the Grand Ole Opry. And one of y'all is going to have to help me. Um, let's see, it was. Uh, fuck. I, I think he's. Alice Cooper is like 76 oh, uh, to 79. It, Any viewers know how old Alice Cooper is? He's at least Somebody 76, Google is what you're saying? All right. Either 76 how old is Willie or, Nelson? Uh, old. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> old. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure he smoked enough to like preserve his whole body, all right? Yeah. yeah. I don't think he's ever going to die. No. Right. But put on one hell of a fucking show. I mean, you just uh, what was that? Feed my Frankenstein. Yes, feed my Frankenstein. Just put a me classic. Into that. that and schools out. Like yeah, even schools if you out. Exactly. <laughs> All right, like, I know. Even Alice, if you know, don't yeah. know who Alice Cooper is, like you know that song. Like right. it, it was everybody's anthem at least for one year to listen to schools out for summer. Yeah. First time I went mud and that was playing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What were you, what vehicle were you in the first time you went mudding? Oh, I was in a Chevy. It was a seventy six. A seventy six Chevy. Uh with my brothers. We went mudding and he was playing that song and it was the first time I drunk moonshine. Yeah? Oh yeah. wow. That's a memorable day then. Exactly. Apple pie. Brandon uh Mr. Colleen said, Let's discuss when Brandon is getting back in the studio. I miss his zombie days. Yo, um, I actually just was in the studio this yo, shout out, bro. Hey, thank you very much. Let the people know. But um, tell the people what the zombie days were first. <laughs> zombie gang, eat all brains, fuck you. It was a Z G E A B F U. It was back in the days of like our future and everything. It was 2011, 12, 13. Wow, we really going here. But uh, yeah, <laughs> but, the past um, will always come back. Yeah, it man, will. I've, I've been active. Uh, but it was just me and Dreadhead Shotta and W T F Breeze and. 
We were just rapping. Shout out to shout out, shout out to Breeze. Uh Breeze, I love you. That's my little sister. But um uh no, her name now is Hoes Love Pink. So Hoes Love Pink? Yeah. <laughs> Hoes Love Pink. Like a tribe called Quest. Exactly. You gotta say the whole <laughs> thing. But um that's like my little sister, like so it was just two friends of mine. I got them both recording and we just took over the city, like in a major way, we like it's Columbia. Shout out, but we pressed up like hand pressed and with the sharpies and everything. Right, right. Like two hundred and fifty CDs. Yeah, and all of a sudden we were doing shows and we were like, right. So right. for a little minute we were running and we had like little zombie T-shirts and stuff and like zombie wristbands. Oh and nice. We had fans and stuff. My first mixtape was Blacks and Sour Patch. Blacks and Sour Patch. Blacks and Sour Patch. Now was that? Did that have anything to do with uh, Black and Miles? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it had to do with? It was Black and Miles okay. and Sour Patch. And like, and uh, fans of of ours would bring packs of Black and Miles and Sour Patch to shows. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, wow. <laughs> I can't believe this. But yeah, and we did we did that for like about two years. And yeah. Then, Kind of just like this band, like you know, go your separate yeah. ways type thing. Time, yeah. life, it all happens. But I'm getting back. I was just back in the studio last week. I recorded something. I uh, I'm gonna send it to you, bro, because I got it on my phone. Yeah. So I'm gonna send it to you. Yeah. It's uh, it's more like a poetry rap type. I call it rapidry. Rapidry. Yeah. Yeah. So like it's 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 cool though. Yeah. And uh, I'm on the track with Evan Gray. That's it's his song, and I just came in. So shout out to Evan. Um, the one I'm doing a documentary for, we went on tour. Right. And I was kicking with him in the studio, and he was like, bro, can you just throw something at the end here? Because he's heard my poetry. Right. So I was just in there, and I- I'll send it to you, man. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Wow, we went back. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Uh, Starla said, with that crash, that it uh, makes her even more scared to ever fly. I'm definitely terrified. Don't be terrified to fly. I've been no. flying since I was three. Don't be terrified. It's cool. I love to fly. I love it. It's all right. Like, look, I can sit in the car for nine hours and go to Detroit. Or I can get two in the plane hours. and be there in two hours. And it's not, you know, I'm all the way on the other end of the country, you know, from yep. south to north. In two hours. I love it. I can't even bullshit like flying. I mean, most of them planes that crash be private jets. They're smaller vessels. So. And the pilot was was supposed to be retired. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh buddy, <laughs> who made that call? Yeah, because the person that put it out that um they were all okay was his sister. So he was supposed to be retired. Like, yeah, he was supposed to. So you know, just make sure you hire the right people sometimes. Right. Shout out still. Yeah, shout out to my baby mama. She hates being called baby mama. I just did it on live. <laughs> What up, girl? <laughs> that is uh, my daughter's mother. She's watching. So, oh, hi. <laughs> yeah. hey, stars, mom. What up? Hey. <laughs> this better not end up in court. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, you made me snort. I'm laughing. <laughs> Can't take it back. Yeah. I feel like we need to get you a better angle. I do not like that angle on you. I don't like any angle, okay? <laughs> right. I wonder. Oh, shit. I'll fuck with it later. Fuck it, y'all. <laughs> right. but, so. um, What you got for me? Uh, Man, honestly, man, I'm I'm just a boring person. I watch politics and and study the Bible. Like, so. That's I, not boring. I, really I mean, that's what you're into. In life. Like, as yeah. long as you study, like. The different parts of the Bible. That's what's interesting. So it's not yeah. boring if you do that. I'm about to uh, get the Apocrypha from Amazon. You yeah. want that book that that dude gave me? Sympathy for the Devil? No. You don't cool. want to read? You got to know your enemy, bro. No, I mean, the uh, I got the Screw Tape Letters by uh, uh, T.S. Lewis. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's pretty good. But, I mean, that's fictional and everything. But yeah. um, I also, I like to... I like to just... I'm a factual-based person. I like history. Yeah. So... Most of my time I spend going through uh, theology and history and trying to corroborate timelines. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. So, um, how's your dating life? Man, oh, uh, no, the fuck you did. <laughs> I, I got you before you got me. Ooh. <laughs> I swear I was going to ask you. But uh, it's not good. It's, it's not good. Uh, I mean, it's <laughs> Summer not, fun. <laughs> honestly, it's non-existent. Really? 
Yeah, I, I'm, I've been abstinent since um, June 1st. Abstinent? Uh huh. Yeah. And so I haven't had sex since like June 1st. We gotta and... get the close up for this. Look at the camera. <laughs> I mean, okay, whoever knows Brandon really good, I need y'all to let me know if he's fucking lying. And no one ever believes me. I do. Someone I invite. Who who we invited me to tell all? I mean, anybody like I haven't done anything. Uh, well, Jasmine, she knows because we we talk all the time. Ja- somebody invite Jasmine Armstrong. Yeah, but uh, I go abstinent like once or twice a year since like 2015. Yeah. So yeah, I do it all the time. But uh, <laughs> so I, uh, look at that face. Look at <laughs> Rachel's like what? Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so by the end of August, it'll be three months, and then yeah, it's going down. It's like going down. Somebody getting some pressure off. Like, so what we need to do time. is uh, set the calendars for two months, <laughs> ladies, and go ahead and get ready. We're gonna call this the Brandon Comeback Event. Right. <laughs> yeah. Because he's gonna come off on the back. back. <laughs> and anywhere else that you like. Yeah. Without yeah. that. But uh, yeah. but it's been cool though. It's been it's it's gonna be three months, and that's honestly very short for me. I've done six months. I've done eight months. So it's so like three months is like pretty cool. But I did it in the middle of the summer, like yeah. from June, July, August. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just did it. Uh, but it's non-existent though. I really don't talk to anybody. Like, yeah, like well. female wise, I I haven't gone on a date. I haven't done anything. I haven't gone on a date since like March. Yeah. So like. But you know what, though, we got we have a league of serial daters out here now. So y'all, you have to be picky. People are like, why do why do you want to Netflix and chill, or why do you want to chill at the house and talk, or why do you want to do this? Can I be honest? Yeah, I'm just nervous. There's like a a, a band of women that like have a gossip circle about me. Oh yeah, oh that's <laughs> that's the town. We live in a small town, bro. Yo, I've been I've been notified about it a couple of times by different women. My mom got it to me. <laughs> Oh, you know Lord. how fucking awkward that is? That is awkward. That's awkward as shit when yeah. your mom is telling you, hey, be careful what you do because there's a group of women that, that have a, a group chat about you. Oh, no. <laughs> it's, a, it's not just a group circle. It's a group chat. A, yeah, like, they don't meet up and chat. have Sunday brunch. This is like, 2019. All the time. 2019. <laughs> like, it's a group. It's a whole group chat. And, uh, yeah, it's been confirmed by, like, different people, like, and then, like, one girl might show another girl. Oh, no. Like, and then they want to get added to the chat. Yeah, it's like oh, that. Oh, man. You, you girl have to be. To the chat at a, at a salon and you got to be careful me. with dick pics and everything. You can't send nobody nothing. No, I'm the... sending dick pics. I dare you to show somebody else. I ain't. I ain't yeah, but saying. still, I'm, man, I'm, you I'm, just I'm, don't want them flowing, I'm floating out there. Because like, I'm not having sex. So, what are you going to do? <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, that's, like, I guess that's true. Okay. Whatever you, whatever a rumor might be, or whatever you like, girl, he got a big old dick. I'm not having sex right now, so it doesn't matter. Right, right. <laughs> so, that's true. That's true. So, so I don't care. But I'm just like when it takes when it comes to taking girls on dates, or when it comes to like doing activities with, with females, uh-huh. I'm mostly just thinking about them because any girl apparently that I'm in a picture with or anything is just they just put her in a group like who is she and try to like figure out her shit you know what I'm saying yeah I got you and got you. even though it's some small town shit it's annoying so I just go abstinent I'm, like, I'm not fucking with anybody now you get nothing <laughs> see and that's why I stay underneath the radar you know what you do I guarantee if you ask a lot of people in this town unless they know me because they met my brother most people don't know me yeah so most people just know me as uh, I'm not gonna say my brother's name on. Well, you're on the Who That podcast a, now, so right. yeah, a lot I of know. people know Look, you. When I put you on the podcast, when Somebody I announced in you Japan were gonna be hosting, I received two phone calls. I did. I received two phone calls, and you know, it's a bunch of people. Oh, do you know her? Da da da. And let me tell you about her. And I was just kind of like, I already know one. I, I don't know the other. Right. So then I was just kind of like. I don't give a fuck. Let's see what happens. You know what I mean? Well, now I need to know the other. Uh, not here. Not, not no, not, not right here. here. But not to lie. All right, right, right. I know one because not too long. Well, yeah. actually, I do know another one. Yeah. Somebody. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. One of the viewers, shout out to Reggie. One of the viewers say he don't trust that I'm abstinent. He said you can't be doing that. You're gonna hurt somebody. Oh <laughs> wow! <female>. Wow. <laughs> So that's oh, that. Man. That's that. Uh, uh, fresh out of jail sex. No, nah, whatever. 
But it's good to refresh yourself sometimes. Have you ever had fresh out of jail sex? No. No? You never slept with anybody that just got fresh out of jail? No. Oh, okay. I have dated I, a felon. Yeah? I've had sex with a girl fresh out of jail before. Hi, Bubba. Yeah. I dated a girl for a year that was fresh out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fresh out of jail relationship. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah, so. <laughs> you had a different type of sex. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Me, I... Yeah, how your shit going, bro? It ain't going. It ain't going. It ain't going. Helping, helping it's, I mean, it's, it's all right. Like, I've met nice people. We've had good times and kicked it. You know what I mean? I mean, some beautiful people, you know? And But nothing has locked in place. You know what I mean? A lot of Netflix and chill. Yeah, a lot of mm. hanging out and doing this and doing that. You know what I mean? But nothing's That's good to get to know somebody. Yeah. Bubba, am I going to see you this weekend? Who is Bubba? He's watching for mine. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's not on this one. Sorry. He's uh, watching for mine. Yeah. So. So. And I don't feel like picking up my phone and typing back at you. So. No, no, either no. you're still just watching. Or That's you're what you're here for. Just to talk. So, I can't. I feel. Like I'm trying to build an empire, y'all. Look, where's the camera? Did you take that I'm, from my post? No. <laughs> I'm trying to build an empire. No. I'm trying to build an empire. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've always said this. And any woman that I've talked so to. We just think of like. Yes. Okay. Fuck, we want empires, nigga. We're kings. Fuck Come that. On. <laughs> so, look, I'm trying to build an empire. And I just can't do that on Netflix and chill all the time. You know what Come I mean? On, I can't. That's why it's Hulu and Do You. <laughs> I don't know if I can build an empire on Hulu either. You know? I, I, need, I just need some. <clears throat> Ooh. Excuse me. Oh, look. Sorry, I just need somebody <laughs> that understands what Empire actually is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, right. look, Josh Turner said, I dated a few that probably would have put me in jail. <laughs> you have. You absolutely have. Kelly Lee. Hello, Kelly Lee. I need to speak with you. She's very hard to get a hold of, but she's a very talented person. Mm. Kelly, she, does, she has Kelly. a yoga, yoga studio. Miss Lee. Yeah. I wanted her on the show because... She used to bartend on a cruise ship. So she would go out for times at a time and like live and bartend and, and had the life, the cruise ship life. And I want to talk about that one day. I want to hear what that's all about. I want to hear about all the people she got seasick because she served them alcohol on the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm sure there's a whole different lifestyle on that boat. And I want to yeah. know about it. You know, you're not like you're in international waters, aren't you? Yes, yes. Yeah, so you, no, yeah. I think there's something that happens like in your mind when you're like, "I'm on water." Not only can nobody like judge me, but yeah, I can I'm do free. what the fuck I want. Yeah, yeah. so I'd be stupid on a cruise. Yeah, <laughs> like, who that podcast should take a cruise? We should. You know what? I've Please. got a great travel agent that could do that for us. Come on, and who might your travel agent be? Oh, um, it was Kim Cates. Well, go shout out to Kim Case. We're going to be using you. Yes. Who that podcast? Let's she, take a cruise. She got my last cruise. It was a four-day cruise to the Me Bahamas. going to be drunk as shit. Yes. And, it, yeah, yes. free That's liquor. drinking, but Free liquor. Free liquor. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> so, she got mm. us a four-day cruise to the Bahamas. Two people. It was 700 bucks. Not per person. It was 700 bucks. For real. Yes. That's an income tax trip. You can get your taxes. Yeah. I'm, I'm with it. Now, I have a question. What's uh, up? I just look back. Is that whole bottle of wine gone? Yeah. Are both of them gone? No, the other one's gone. Right oh, okay. Don't scare me yeah. like that. No, we have yeah. more. I mean, I'm all right right now, but I just uh-huh. happened to look back and I was like, oh. Mine's almost gone. Oh, oh excuse me. Thank you very oh, much. Yeah, it's up on here. I mean, if we're doing that. Hold on. Let me then. save. Yeah, let me go ahead and just kill this. I got a bottle of vodka somewhere. You guys are going to witness something really cool tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah. So At what's going on? So, all right, fuck. but you had a great 2019. So why, I did. So why haven't any of the women in your 2019 been empire builders? Um, oh, I shit. just don't think like that's on the agenda for them. You know, I think it's like oh. they're in different portions of their life. And, I'm in, and it's summertime. Y'all better be ready. That cold gonna hit this fat nigga gonna be in like you know what I mean. <laughs> so and I don't that's know. the thing I'm thinking about like really stretching the abstinence for like because it's about to be winter. 
<laughs> I think that's a good time to like like to really focus yourself. You know what I mean? But that's when you should start your abstinence. You want to know why? And as a woman, I can. Well, I can maybe test I should just this. have sex like one good time and then go right back to it. No. Okay. Listen. No? If you're gonna okay. pull your abstinence, do it through winter. You want to know why? Because why? women are gross. And I know when it comes to wintertime, the last thing I want to do is shave my fucking legs every day or shave anything of mine every day. Mm, You're going to be rumbling in the jungle. True. This is very, very true. Welcome yeah. to the jungle. Yes, yeah. you know what? So, yeah, I should just, like, do it one time. Like, do, it's remember? cheaper to not date in the winter either. Exactly. <laughs> you got Christmas. You got Valentine's, exactly. Valentine's New Year's. Yeah. You got, yeah, exactly. Christmas. So I just stretched this out. Ooh, that's not what we wanted. No, <laughs> not what we wanted. I mean, no you start fucking issue. now, you stop fucking later. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I gotta make it to the end of August. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, so all of September. Start today. Yeah. <laughs> all of September I'm good, then October when it gets a little crispy in the air. Yeah. Go right back. Yeah. Wait, right before you Halloween, wanna be so now you wanna be Ladies, fucking, you got two months September first to uh, <laughs> October thirtieth. <Yeah. laughs> like, but I think you should fuck around Halloween because Everyone dresses like a whore around Halloween, and that's fun. Okay. I, I want my girl to dress like a whore on, on March 14th. Like, do that shit all the time. But <laughs> if you end up dating a girl that, or, you know, fucking a girl that has kids, and y'all kind of get, like, attached or something, then around Halloween, guess what? You got to take your kid, and you got to take her kid to retreating. And, and that comes out. Uh, look, I love kids. And but still, I'll take one trick or treat, and you want to know why? Because I ain't got nothing to fucking lose. Mm. Uh, because I want a candy for myself, too. Now, I'm already but. I'm BB to like a lot of a lot of like kids, yeah. So, my my Halloween shout out to my brother Matt already consists of two kids, my son, and then like four other ones, right? So, exactly. no, you're right. I'm going to fall back a little bit. <laughs> so start today. When you leave here, go find somebody to stick your dick in. No, it's, it's and then said month. no. <laughs> like it was the end of the world. It's no. The, it's the middle of the month. I got to complete the month out. Yeah. So September all the way through to like. Mid-October. Mid-October. And then fall back again. And then wait till about March. Because no one. I can pay for your St. Patty's Day. <laughs> there you go. All the money you saved dodging Christmas exactly. and Valentine's Day and New Year's. I'll get your St. Patty's right. Yeah. You wanna go drink, baby? Well, don't mind if I do. Yeah, I gotta think I gotta thinking to myself about like why I be trying to pursue these relationships and shit. And I really think it's got something to do with me not having any family here. Yeah, we both, I mean, shout out to our moms. Yeah, but moms. That's about it. That's it. I just imagine son. we had a bunch of cousins and a bunch of uncles. Yo. Like, you just go kick it with unk. You All know? right, so my ex, well, not ex, because you actually have to go together. Girl that I talked to once in the previous past. Yeah. I went to a, a little family function. Her. Rachel, do you have a lot of family down here? Yeah, my family is scattered throughout Murray County, Giles County, uh, Rutherford County. Yeah, she's Damn. she's bred, so born and bred. I'm about to explain, your this is your every. Yeah. I'm okay. Good. So I went to this house with her for like a family function. There were like twelve cars outside. Right. To other people, that doesn't sound like a lot, but my Christmas consists of five people. <laughs> right. Right. It's just me and mom. Yeah. Well, whatever mom. girl I'm dating, their kids, my kids. Boom. Yep. That's it. Wow, my nigga. <laughs> this exactly it. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. It's so I went with this girl to like to her Thanksgiving, and huh. me and my son went, and there were twelve cars when we got there. And I was like, "Are we all gonna fit in this house?" She's like, "Yeah, it's gonna be fine." Then like, like at least for real, twelve other people showed up after that, oh, wow. and I was like, "But it was it was amazing. It was like soul food in there. You ever seen the movie Soul Food?" No, I know you seen oh. the movie. <laughs> watch Soul Food. We're gonna watch Soul Food. You've never seen Soul Food? No. We need to do a movie day one day. I have seen, see. and I can't. I think it's called like Soul Soul Man or something like that. But it, it's a comedy. Yeah, yes. Soul Man is totally different. Oh, you gotta see Big Mama. I don't like mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's totally different. Soul Man. <laughs> I saw this movie, Joanna Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit yeah Man, but it's so different having family down here so I think I would do shout that. out to Joe Arnold but look when I have Christmas or anything like that I at least have three to five Christmases see see that, that shit now okay that was that was when <sighs> I had my papa which he's passed away since then right um 
my mom's mom, my stepdad's uh, Christmas with my dad and my stepmom, mm-hmm. my mom's Christmas, um, and then whoever I'm dating at the time. So actually, I guess around six. Uh-huh. So I, you know, I have a question. Yeah. What happened after your mom watched the podcast? <laughs> the look of defeat. Uh, She's like, oh, I kind of wish you didn't talk about those things. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm sorry, uh, Mom. Yeah. We told Should we have that. her on the podcast one day? No. What? No. Look, don't do that got, to Rachel. Look, if we got her on here, I, look, I'd be fine with it. That's cool. Yeah. Whatever. I mean, we'll keep it kind of clean. Folks. But. I don't know if I can guarantee that. No, but with on. her, <laughs> this is my thing. With her being a school teacher. Oh, no. She has See to be careful. Yeah, I don't want to risk that. See what you can start. Because I don't know if any of the viewers have cool, have cool, have kids that go to her school that she exactly. teaches at. We're and not so I don't do want. That. We're not. You know Backlash. Yes. Yeah, I got and you. I didn't know close, she was a school teacher. She's close to retirement. She, she works so at Baker. maybe after. Oh, that's right. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. For anybody that didn't listen to that, uh, we're not going to talk about where she goes. <laughs> <laughs> Loose lip sink Don't ships, worry, I okay? Have yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. But, yeah. um,. She's close to retirement, so maybe after she retires, she'll come on here and she'll talk about how things are working for the I do want to talk to a system. teacher. Oh, uh, my God. Can I bring one of my, like, teachers from high school on here? Can we have Birdsong and a teacher here at the same time? My God. Did yes. anybody yes. go to Central? Uh, me? What are you talking about? Okay, we need to have Mr. Burn. If we need we to have can, Mr. Burn. Yo, where are we Burns. at? Yo. Yeah. Hey, viewers, listeners, I know that you know Mr. Burns, Okay. And we need you to get word to him for us that we need him on the Who That podcast. Let him know. No, I got this. (laughs) Let him know that Brandon Sproul himself is asking for him to come on here. And he is going to come. Me and Mr. Burns are like this. Yeah. I love Mr. Burns. He is amazing. And I knew he he knew it. He is amazing. I knew he knew it. He loves me. Yes. (laughs) <laughs> so my senior year, I had I was a teacher's assistant for Miss Manning. Mm. Shout out to Miss Manning, thank you. She I loves love me you. Too. You uh, you you taught me how to find my voice, so thank you. Um, you and she 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 casted me as Santa Claus in a play. I didn't know what, what? I was coming for. <laughs> I didn't know what I was coming for. Yeah, why oh, why were you Santa? She skipped right over Mr. Look, Mrs. Claus. She went straight to the gusto. We were doing uh Yes Virginia there is a Santa Claus. Okay. And someone had dropped out and she was just like, "Well, you can sing." And because of my range, she was like uh, I already know you can sing, but just sing Jingle Bells for me, whatever. And I sang it for her. And she's like, okay, right. well, show up here. We're going to do, uh, we're going to start uh, practicing. Mm-hmm. And um, so I get there and she's like, you're playing Dirty Santa Claus. Like Street Santa Claus. What? Yeah. That's okay. a good casting though. Yeah. <laughs> so did that. It was great. But I had Miss Manning as a teacher assistant for first period. And if she didn't have anything for me to do she would let me know the day before she'd be like if you don't want to come in first period you want to show up for second do your thing right well second period was my was mr burns so oh, i would just come strolling up and there'd be some days where he'd be like so it doesn't say that you were here for first period so were you here and i'd be like yeah <laughs> I was here. or i'd show up late can I ask a question that might like incriminate some of us? Go. All right. Yep. Did you have sex in school at all? Like in the school? Yes. I never had sex in the school. I had sex in my car. At school. At the school. Okay. No, and I couldn't have sex in my truck either because all my trucks are either trashed and have like full backs. Excuse me, full back seats, <laughs> <laughs> or the. Uh, like the console is so full that it is uh, if I look it up it's empty any <laughs> listeners do any of you guys ever have sex in school do we want to know we want to know look yes. I ran up on I'm going to leave all names out of this yes after a football game one day 
me and my homeboy was getting ready to leave and we pulled around <laughs> and there was a group of people surrounding a pickup truck. This was like 10, 11 o'clock at night. And after a football game. After a football game. Okay. In a parking lot? Yes. Okay. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? We pull over there. It's like a group sex session going on in the back of a truck. They've got two women on the back of this truck hammering it to death. They were side by side on the bed of this truck with the tailgate down. And we were just like, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Whoa. Yes. And it was, that group was big. I'm sure somebody out there remembers that shit. Spring Hill. <laughs> Class of 04. <laughs> <laughs> and all you need. Yeah. So... What, okay, so after a football game at home, mm-hmm. parking lot. Yes, bro. Tailgate down. Tailgate down. A group of eleven people. No, it was a group. Of, I didn't count how many people. It was like, <laughs> but but it was it was, it was probably more than eleven years. people, and they were girls. just all waiting their turn. Oh shit! Yeah. How long did you stay? I mean, I just did a circle around. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, just, I was in the car. Me and my, <laughs> Shout out to Corey Perry. I was driving Corey Perry home. And we was we just zoomed around that bitch and looked and just like, kept wow. going. And, and no all we saw flinched. was legs. No I, one I make sure it's not being seen on the camera because uh, it doesn't have her logo on it. Yes. Oh A new God. one that just got posted. Nice. Um, nice. Okay. We're Ooh. looking at some photography. And I'm sure yes. at some point in Beautiful. time it'll come to light. But, you know, I had a question. What up? So you do modeling and stuff. Um, Believe it or not, people, I know I look like trash right now. I am in the trash can. Yo, go <laughs> this is af- <laughs> after work. Yes, <laughs> this is after work. Go yeah. to her page. She looks amazing. Yeah. So look, well, I've got this Patreon, and uh, I've got this Patreon page. I'm, I'm in the put. band room. I'm sorry, I just saw it. Yes, I was yes, in the band room. <laughs> Yeah, it was gonna go down. <laughs> he said, "Oh, also Taylor told the band room." Yeah, Taylor wanted me to tell you that I guess he lives down the street from her, and she can tell him he's on Facebook also. Yeah, I'm friends with him on Facebook. Oh, then that we need to go ahead Come and just on. do that then. Get Mr. Bruce. Okay, so we've got this Patreon oh God, page, please, where people will sign up and they will pay to yes. support. Yes, all he needs is a cup of coffee. I'm sorry. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> With that, we have to provide exclusive content to our Patreon folks. Do you want to use some of the pictures as exclusive content? I thought you were talking to me. I was going to show my sexy body. I mean, you too. Uh, Rachel. Your sexy body. You going to use some of the photos? Sure. Awesome. Are you sure? I'm not trying that's to put you on sure. blast, but that's actually, that's no, okay I mean, With the uh, photographer, too. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll, I'll credit her to it. Okay. Right, yeah. I mean, um,. So if you want to see these pictures that we've been eyeballing and stuff like that, I might crank up the Patreon page. We'll see. And me and Brandon are photographers too. We can always. I'm dope. Content. <laughs> <laughs> so, we dope. Um, so dope. Taylor, what what happened in the band room? Is oh this is this God. the same stuff that we were just talking about in because the band room? About a flute. Because, is this too wise? Because like, it got so specific, I have to say something. Okay. All right. Were you there for this? No, I wasn't oh, there. Yeah. For this. No, there was a Spring lot. Of, there for this. Shout out to Central High School. Um, there was a lot of sex in Central High School. Yeah. My God, I and mean, we're not gonna ever talk about this with Mr. Burns. Okay. Uh, but uh, there was a lot. But I was in the band bathroom one time, and God, the band know. had their own bathroom. Yeah, the band had they their, had own, their bathroom. own building. What? No, I, I, no, they didn't. It was a vocational building. Oh, that's right. They yeah, have and they the, had the cosmetology, and then they had... Y'all had uh, cosmetology at your school? We had yeah. cosmetology. We had... We barely uh, had French. Had <laughs> veterinarian... Uh, the, veterinarian was, was in there, yeah. and what? then uh, to get yeah, you prepared... Nursing. Spring uh, Hill class, old folk, you hear how we got robbed? Anyway. And then, um, also, uh, shout out to Ms. Lyman, because... Uh, we had a class just to get you ready for interviews and resume writing. Who's, yeah. the, fi- who's the finest teacher at Central? Oh, uh, well, I can tell you who the was that was in my class because um, I'm not, I, you know, I can't say this. If I say her name, I can't say what was going on. Cause oh, no. Yeah, no incrimination here. Okay, um. well, anyway, I won't say her name, but 
It was a proven fact that she was uh, sleeping with all of the uh, black basketball players. Oh, she had good taste. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Brandon. <laughs> Brandon don't want to say nothing. Do you know who I'm talking about? Yes. Yes. <laughs> did she teach uh, Ooh, numbers? Wait. <laughs> She's, yeah, she taught numbers. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, yeah, she taught some numbers. God damn it! Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Um. Yeah, that was that. Dad, she did, mm, yeah, she did that. Yeah. A lot of them. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Shout out to Central. A lot of them uh, st- 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 stuttered. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, ooh, Lord. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> we had a, the band had their own bathroom, right? Okay. And I got caught in the bathroom having sex once. And I hope my mom does not ever watch this. And it's her birthday. Love you, Iris. Oh, but, why uh, would you? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, wait, wait. You got them, them pipes. I, not right now. Oh, you don't. Uh, That's right. That's it's right. okay. It's the I mean, I, w- I, I feel yeah. like I would sound like Phoebe off of Friends with like uh, her sexy <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> good, good metaphor. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I got caught in the band bathroom, but it was by other students. Okay. Well. So one of the cool things is if other students and I, I've caught other people in the bathroom. Yeah, of course. If other students catch you in the bathroom, you know, doing it or mm-hmm. whatever, they would just watch out for you. So uh, of course you gotta stop because like, yeah. Well, if y'all caught me, there's only so much time. Right. So like you would stop, but like they would guard the door for you. Until both of y'all made it to a clearing. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, like they were like they'd be like, oh, there's four legs in that stall. Right. Hey, <laughs> hey, it's not as it's not as clear as you think. You're right. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. And then like you know you run out the bathroom and they will look they, you know they will look out for you. It's kind of like the underground railroad, <laughs> but, <laughs> but sex and underage <laughs> and at school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was hey, just hey, like the underground like railroad. Underage. <laughs> <laughs> it was like they were looking up for each other. That's true. Right. It That's was, true. It was very intense, but the the band bathroom had that. It was like the place. It was I. I walked in on like I think one person a year, like one couple. Yeah. A year, dude. Yeah. They're just in the band bathroom. I'm just like, yo, it's not. <laughs> this is right. not cool. It's not as safe as you think. <laughs> right, it is, right. Like, it was Y'all should have had a code word by then. For real. Uh, like, hi, you Thomas, hear about if you're the... still walking. Or, wh- Are you what? still walking, Thomas? You, what? I hope happened, you're still walking. Thomas? Watching. Uh-huh. Oh, and man. you're cut off. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thomas, I, I hope you're okay, Thomas. <laughs> right. I hope that everything is well with yeah. you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Why did we have to go live for this? Right. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow. I uh, I enjoyed my time at Spring Hill. It was all right. I re- see the difference in Spring Hill and Central at that time like being in the band at Central was a really cool thing. You know what I mean? Like well, Who said who told you that? I've always heard that being in the band at Central because they had a great band. Yeah. They had a, was it a cool thing? Yeah, I heard it was a cool thing. I had if no you idea. Were, if you were a, um, and I know I'm going to have some people that are going to jump on me for this shit, but if you were a flag twirler. Oh, the guard girls? Guard. Thank you. Yo, you were shout out to girl, all the guard girls out you there. You were fucking cool, and everybody you loved were. you, you were. and everybody yeah. wanted to be you. You were. See? See? See, it wasn't like that at Spring Hill. Because they all had... Yeah, they all had nice fucking asses. Yeah, because they were working in how. band camp all and summer. I mean, our soccer team at Spring Hill when I was there was pretty hot. It was, it was probably the soccer team and the volleyball team were pretty decent. They were. I don't know how the how the guard girls became so like amazing. Yeah, but their workout regimen. Yeah, they need to sell that shit. <laughs> Should have been on DVD. <laughs> what, 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 the infomercial? <laughs> you want to be a guard girl? Guard girl. Guard girl. <laughs> yeah. Legs, yeah. Shit. This is the guard girl insanity workout. Yeah. <laughs> you put insanity in it, people are gonna buy it. Yes. Hell yeah. You got you got soccer moms <laughs> twirling gonna, shit. I'm they live around. Name my detox water insanity detox. The insanity detox. <laughs> Hell yeah. Coming live. <laughs> Three payments of forty five, forty five. I don't know. So, 
45 45 That's a crackhead number Yeah it is It is <laughs> That's what a crackhead is asking for I need $45 yeah, Can I get $45 cent. I need 45 cents Why? Taxes money <laughs> There's inflation out here I'm trying to get I'm trying to get this Color, color guard workout I'm trying to get this Color guard workout I'm going to get my life in order <laughs> So I put a post up this week and I rustled some feathers. What you do? You did y'all not see the post? It was about uh, I put on there. I didn't want any. Um, if you're on hard drugs, oh, oh, yes. Man. Okay, I, I didn't see this. Oh, it's got now, like a hundred. Any, anytime you rustle some feathers about not wanting drug addicts, whoever's offended is a drug addict. So let me let me explain it. Okay, I'm sorry. I put a. Okay. I put a post up, and it said, I do not, if you're on any hard drugs, meth, heroin, ice, pill addiction, which isn't, pill addiction to me isn't just hard, but it's ruining lives out there too, though. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But, like, I put on there, get out of my inbox. You know, I don't want to fucking deal with that no more. Standards are okay. Yeah. And I rustled some feathers. Some people felt some type of way. But it wasn't just necessarily targeted at one person. It was just in general, man. My inbox was full. Full all the time. Of motherfuckers. Asking for dope money. Wanting to kick it for some dope. Like, I got dope. I ain't got no dope. You know what I mean? But they think I got a bunch of money. You know? Damn. And I was just like, all right, that's it. Game over. Shutting all this down. No more sympathy. No, no, no. Fuck that. Yeah, I just was over it, bro. I just couldn't deal with it you no more. You cannot build an empire with a crackhead. No, man. No, and I'm sorry some of y'all's lives have led you down that road. But then I get this... I'm, then you know what? Let's hold on real quick. Oh, yes. I'm not sorry. Because who don't know crack is whack? Who don't know that pills kill? Who don't know that a fried egg right there? You know what I'm saying? Like, but... No, I'm talking about oh, his, his age group. We're going to get there in a second. Yeah, I'm talking about his age group because, uh, yeah, we all have people in the family, and I'm right. not going to go there. But if you're in in the age group of trying to, like, reach out to somebody and, and, and get married and everything, like, you should know what the reality of your life situation is. You can't just bring your baggage of a drug habit into a new fucking equation, even if you're trying to change your life or something like that, because... I, I I I didn't make a post like right. you did. I sir. know I did. But I, I jumped out my there. DM and I'm just like, just because you had a crossroads in life doesn't mean you go and attach to the person that looks the most progressive or positive to you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like you should, you need to know the reality of your life situation. Right. And then not try to like put that on somebody else. Like you look like you can fix me. No, you go get fixed and then, then come visit. There me. you go. Now, like, now here's my thing. Hell? I heard the grunt. Here's my thing. Like with pills, it's different. It's a little different because a lot of people end up with pill addictions through their their doctor and through an injury where yeah, they're taking. Shit. So that's a little. That's why when I threw pills in there, I'm like, okay, this is a little different, but. A motherfucker that actively goes out and buys some meth. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like hard drugs are different. Yeah. But I will say this. So and I know I'm gonna get like kicked in the ass for this. You want I me to do it? No, I don't <laughs> believe that it's a um it's a sickness or anything. Right. But I do believe that people have addictive genes. Oh, yes. For no, sure. That runs definitely, in the family. Definitely. So, definitely. say for instance that your dad was a drug addict, but you never met him. And, of course, your mom didn't want you to know. But that opportunity crosses your path. And so you try it. And you got that addictive gene from your father. Yeah. Okay. Well, then it hits you. And then you realize, oh, shit, I like this. And then it takes over. Well, you didn't know prior. I mean, you knew the drug was bad, mm -hmm. but you didn't know that you had that addictive gene in there that it was going to be, okay, I'm not one of those people that can try it once and then leave. Right. But I know that there are some people that are like, I'm going to try it two or three times, see if I like it and fucking do it. What Boom. you just Which, described is me. Like, in every sense of every, every detail. My dad is a... Is still a, um, a heroin addict, and he left when I was three, and I never knew. I didn't know for like the longest time, and I just met his family. Uh, coming up two years now, I was twenty six, so coming up like two years, um, 
And I just met his family, and that's and my mom had already like sort of like hinted to me and everything, but that's like his family are, are the one that like told me like he's not doing that good. He's you know whatever. Right. So with that knowledge now in my mind, because I I can drink like a fish. I'm yeah. Cool. But <laughs> like now in my mind, it's sort of like of of the knowledge of like wow. So that's why he was never in my life because nobody wanted me to see the the first male role model in my life as an addict. Exactly. So both people like on both sides, my mom and his family both were like, "You don't need to be around them." So then to find out, it's like, "Oh wow, is this why I can do things two, three, four, five times?" You know what I'm saying? Right. So that addictive gene is something that sometimes I ponder on, on if I have that, because now I know that for at least at least 27 years he's been battling with. I mean, as long as I've been alive. Right. So then you think like, "Damn, is this something that's inconquerable? Is this something that can be passed on?" Right. That type of shit. So I, I definitely feel you on that. I believe it can't, uh, that mm-hmm. it can be passed on. Not to, Dad, I love you, and I know you probably won't listen to this, so whatever. Um, but my dad, I, you know, when he went through his midlife crisis and stuff like that, he got told he needed to be put on, uh, like Xanax was still something that was prescribed then like, right. for anxiety and stuff so and for depression and things like that so he got yeah. prescribed on that he got you know whatever and when he didn't have it he became like this mean person and on top of that he was he does dip so and he was trying to quit dipping so he used patches so he was just this angry person mm-hmm. and I was just blamed it on my dad being a redhead and then he started drinking beer, which he never, he's hes never like a mean drunk. So I don't want anybody that's viewing right now to think that of him. He just, he just drinks his beer. He hmm. works a, a job with dumb people all the time. So, you know, right. he, he's yes. got to do what he's got to do. Right. But, <clears throat> but when I started drinking, um, I noticed, I was like, oh, I like this. I like this a lot. And so yes, I'm like you, I hell yeah I'll fucking drink all the time because it's something that I feel like I need and if Mm -hmm. I don't have it I mean I start getting the cravings I start getting headaches I feel like I have to have it Mm. (laughs) and like and that's something like now with the knowledge I try to like notice about myself and then go from there as long as I can notice and I can catch it I can go from there and I can be like alright let me back off a little bit so like with abstinence like I'm an extremist type of person. So I've always been like, when I like something, I like all of it. I want I want that shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So being able to control yourself and like, and back off a little bit. And like when it comes to sex, be three months. Or if I do a, a whole fast where I'm not smoking or drinking or having sex, I'm a fucking asshole. But I'll do it for like four months just to like show myself like you can pull back you a little bit. You can do this. Yeah, pull back a little bit. Re- Cleanse yourself, you know what I'm saying? You know? Yeah. And because now with the with the mindset of I know what was before me when it comes to like a dad, it's like, all right, I have to I have to pay extra attention to this more than regular people do. Because I don't know if there is a gene, but I feel like there might be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, so you don't like, wanna Exactly. I don't wanna feed the yeah. the lust of it too much. Or I like the, the little demon. I don't wanna uh, that little monkey in my bag, I don't want to listen to him too often. <laughs> right. Yeah. And for me, another thing, too, was pills. And it started with, you know, having surgeries. And Yo, these pharmaceutical companies. Yeah. Like, how much, at what point can you start suing pharmaceutical companies for an addiction causing, you know what I'm saying? Right. Because, yeah. you, like, I was bad, 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 bad on pills. And... And when you think about it, like like how you said earlier, it is caused from a pharmaceutical perspective. Like you're prescribed this to where you either have to take it daily or weekly or whatever. And this is you're like told you have to do this to take your gallbladder appendix, wisdom, yeah. food, anything like that out. Yeah. And they go, well, here's some tabs, here's some oxy, here's Percocets. whatever, yeah, Percocets. here. And take it every four to six hours when you feel like you've got pain. Every four to Boom. six hours. Yeah. You don't eat every four to six hours. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So finish your testimony, what you were saying. Oh, but I mean, it started with, actually for me, it started with uh, being put on um, 
Prozac. Mm. I was on the highest dose of Prozac that could be prescribed. And then on top of that, I was put on Buspar and then mm-hmm. had something else and then had something else. I had something to make me wake up, make me go to bed, make me uh, feel happy and make my mood stabilize, make me have less anxiety. And I just, I became a zombie, but I liked having that numb feeling. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so then it got introduced when I started having surgeries, because for all of you that don't know, um, I have every organ that can be removed that I don't need except for a hysterectomy. So, oh. boom. Whoa. Um, we yeah. sold them bitches on a black market for microphones, nigga. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> we needed podcast equipment, so we cut it up. But no, I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I've got all four of my wisdom teeth removed. I've bitches got, sold for $100. <laughs> <laughs> keep going, keep going. I've got my... <laughs> Tonsils removed. Hey, I sold them for a bag of Doritos. Keep going. Because <laughs> I was hungry got, around making this shit. Yes. <laughs> Nigga got hunger cutting it up. What? I got my appendix removed. <laughs> you ain't got nothing for that? Oh, man, I sold them for a pair of Tim's in the winter. My feet was cold. <laughs> it's, it's, I was like, know. bring that appendix we to was, me. <laughs> and I have Winter's my gallbladder coming. removed. And that's how we bought the board. I traded the gallbladder <laughs> to a Pakistani man, okay. and they gave me the soundboard. And that's how it worked. That's that's how that's how you start a podcast. <laughs> Find you a hot white chick, cut her ass up, and sell her parts. That's what we do. <laughs> oh but she's good though. She man, you still feel good though, right? Everything. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I get See occasional that? pains from my gallbladder because I didn't do it like a normal. This is how we uh, found a weed money on the mission. A normal. One. <laughs> yeah. But it is what it is. Yeah. Um, but for me, it started oh, when I started shit. having surgeries like that, and I was getting prescribed, you know, this many of oxy or this many of tabs or this many of percocets. Yeah. And then. Did actually, you ever use suboxone? No, I never use suboxone. Good. All right. So, yeah. look, because y'all, that's a trick. It, it, all it does is, is get you suboxone? addicted. Suboxone is supposed to help you overcome your addiction of uh, opioids. But in turn, all it does is cause you to be addicted to suboxone. And then on top of that, nine times out of ten, your friend that was on tabs that started taking suboxone. The the withdrawals and the, everything else is worse than the shit they was on. The Zaboxin is worse. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. Like, it may work for some people, but there's a lot of people out there right now that's fucked all the way off on Zaboxin. All the way off. Man. That's what I'm saying. At what point can you start suing people? I don't know. Like but companies, like a whole, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have a drug rep that wants to come on. Maybe they can shine some light. Maybe we don't you know all the this details. a few times. When are they coming? Uh, well, I, wanna, I have questions, bro. Because I really feel like, like for real, like they have fucked this country. I really feel like they fucked a, a whole generation of youth be, be behind that uh, ADHD theory, behind the ADD lie. Vivance. Like, like, yo, it put me in a hospital, my nigga. Did it? Like, uh. it almost killed me, bro. I didn't even know I had a bad heart until they put me on Vivance. Wow. Like, because they put me on Ritalin. And the Vivans could have gave you a bad heart. That's like, what I'm... Yeah. Yeah. Bro, they put me on Ritalin, and I outthought it. I just wrote better poems. They put me on uh, Adderall, that, on the highest dose of, Ad, of Adderall, and I outthought it again. I was doing math in class without a fucking calculator. Right. I was counting bricks in the wall, and I was... Einstein, it was amazing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, limitless. I was limitless. No, I'll be back. I'm not but, on the camera, but I'll be back. <laughs> but then they put me on Vivance, the highest prescription of Vivance, and this is before it was even approved. They they said it was a uh, experimental, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the, a trial type run. Right. And I was fucked up, dude. I ended up in the hospital for four days. Oh, wow. Yeah, like I mean, really messed up. Like, my teacher could see my heart beating through my shirt. Oof! It's like that video on, uh, that uh, viral video of that guy with all the energy drinks he drank, and yeah. his whole chest was like, you want to know crazy shit? The, the teacher she was talking about that fucked all the, all the basketball players? Yes. It's the same teacher I walked up to, and I was like, my heart is beating through my chest. And I was real calm. And she was like, ooh, that's sweet, baby. Like, she, she like, bro, what are you talking about? Oh, you're so sweet. And, like, and I had to tell her, like, no, look. No, bitch, I'm dying. Like, and she looked down, and she was like, what's wrong with you? Yeah. I was like, 
I don't know what to do right now. Right. And like my heart, like if she could see, like my whole shirt is just moving. Right, right. The whole shirt is just move, fucking moving. Oh. And she and she didn't do anything. Right. I went and sat down and like and I passed out. My friends had to drag me out of the class. Oh. And drag me out of class. I and I was able to make it to my friend's car. They dropped me off at the house. Mm -hmm. And my mom found me laid out on the couch. Oh wow. Like just laid out on some like I'm I'm gone type shit. And I she had to like like keep me awake all the way to the hospital. Like she had to drag me to Why the Why didn't car. them niggas take you to the hospital? I don't know. Uh, friends in high school aren't your real friends. Uh, but <laughs> but they, they dragged me out of the class. Mm -hmm. Put me in my friend's car. My friend dropped me off at the house, dragged me in the house, laid me on the couch. And but like she was like it was her and another girl and they were like crying and everything like right. well we don't know what's gonna happen to him but they left me at the on the couch my mom found me on the couch fucked up <sighs> off the, off by advance and had to drag me into the car and like and was slapping me oh, on the way to the man. hospital I bet you just talking shit the whole time the too whole time. <laughs> yes. yo <laughs> oh because that's what my mama would have been doing <laughs> she was talking, talking shit, shit the, the whole time. fucking ride bro yeah and we finally get to the hospital I'm in it for four days man. Wow. And off the Vivance. And like I really feel like they fucked the whole generation. Yeah. They really threw us off off track. They really like they looked at you, pointed at you and said you have something or there's a problem or as soon as you have a little problem, they make it a big one. Yeah. And now you need this, 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 and this. Right. And now your whole your whole natural uh dichotomy is thrown the fuck off. Right. And and then we spend our whole twenties trying to refine ourselves because you it's a chemical imbalance every pill is a chemical imbalance oh yeah so you're telling us we have to take three different ones a day right i had one friend because i was so fucked up they used to give him a different type of pill and it made him feel so bad he was just giving to me uh -huh. so i'd be on vivance and his shit Oof. on the bus and by the time i get to school i'm yeah <laughs> yeah 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 bitch i'm out of here <laughs> i can count all the bricks in the wall right now bitch well look like i was saying you know hi everybody i'm back uh, like I was saying, I, I was put on something to make me wake up, uh, make me go to sleep. Mm -hmm. I was supposedly a uh, manic depressive bipolar. Oh, yeah. So they had they a put mood that bipolar stabilizer. On a lot of kids yeah. going, going through puberty too. Yeah. They put me on a mood stabilizer, which is also used as an anti seizure medication. Mm -hmm. They put me on an antidepressant. They put me on an anxiety medication that I was taking three times a day. Um, like I said, they put me on something to wake up. They put me on something to go to bed. They actually put me on something to make me eat. See, yep, that's what they had to give me. Uh, after the uh the Adderall, yeah, it takes your appetite. Yeah, so, so I'm I, I'm put on like five or six different medications, and I'm going, what am I supposed to do with this? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, the mixture of all of them. I'm like, oh, this is nice. And then I got, you know, through all my surgeries and they're handing me this and this and this. And I was like, oh, man, I really like the way this feels. Yeah. So then I'm going out and I'm trying to find ways. Okay, how can I how can I get this fixed? Again? Yeah, how can I recreate that high? And exactly. When exactly. I actually had my gallbladder removed, I really thought that I was fixing to have a relapse. Mm -hmm. Because, um, which. Shout out know. to Maria. What's up, girl? Ahead, I know sorry. she's not going to go back and watch And I mean, it's, and so it's, such, yeah. it's such a piece of society. But my mom had her gallbladder removed like a week, two weeks before I did. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what? Yeah. <laughs> uh, they prescribed her 20 tabs. And then when I had mine, they prescribed me 20. My mom only took a few of them. Mm-hmm. Within two weeks, I had downed almost 40 and then was taking Tylenol on top of that and then was taking Benadryl because they were making me itch. Yeah. So I'm taking Benadryl. And then, Tabs do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I ended up getting an abscess in my throat. So then I had liquid codeine. And that's... And they'll, taking, they'll prescribe that so fast. Yeah. So. yeah. was yeah. taking liquid codeine, had some, per had some, uh, had some tabs left had Benadryl mm -hmm. and I was taking Tylenol and then had another medication. And then they'll there. tell you that that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. So I'm <laughs> taking like six different medications. And I was like, oh shit, I'm getting that feeling again. Like, I, I don't, I don't know about this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, and that's uh, the craziest thing. And, and everybody will tell you that it's all right. Like yeah. I lost 30 pounds in a month. 
because Adderall took my my appetite. I got back to school and I told my teachers I lost thirty pounds because they used to think I was on steroids. Yeah. Because like I had big ass arms, like Tookie Williams. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I wanted to be like Tookie, rest in peace. <laughs> so like I used to be big as fuck. Right. So I like so I got back to school and I'm thinking I'm gonna tell my teachers like and something uh, like happened. Yeah. And yeah. they were like, Yo, I wish I could lose weight that fast. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Like, Whoa. Yeah. Like that's not what I wanted. That to hear. wasn't the response that I yeah. was They're like, what? like I needed what did you your do? help, man. Yeah. And and this was like from that freshman to sophomore year, like in the mid puberty. Right. They're diagnosing kids in mid puberty, and it's just it's like your body's already going through a chemical change. Yeah. But then you introduce a chemical imbalance. Yep. Yep. And we're like, what the fuck do you expect to happen? And I and I feel like that's why we have the uh, Mac Millers of the world. You yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah, that's some shit. And there's it's a whole culture now. It's a whole culture of of pills. Pat, what? One of our one of our viewers, uh, Patrick, he said uh, they've been pumping me full of drugs since I was six. Shit, I need to be doing Adderall again so I can lose some of this fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, Don't do Pat, it. you get Don't you get it. you a metformin prescription. It's four dollars. <laughs> Drink some detox water, bro. No, no, no. <laughs> metformin will have your ass where you ain't got no choice but to lose weight. I look, I'm on metformin. I'm a fat guy. I had to like really cut down what I was supposed to be doing, you know? Because the first month, I took it like I was supposed to and lost 30 pounds in a month. And you shit your brains out. Like, you go to the bathroom every 20 and 30 minutes. It's a nightmare. So, metformin will cause you to drop all that weight so quick. Metformin? Metformin. Metformin. It's diabetic medicine. Wow. Yes. See, that's another thing. Like, like what, what goes into that? I don't know, but they like. <laughs> and that's the thing, is that we don't know. Right. Oh no! Hey, by the way, everybody go get checked. Go get uh, go get your HIV, uh, your AIDS, your um, what? How, hepatitis. Look, because look, look, I'm with I'm you on this. Around. Look, go get, checked. go get everything checked. Go get your get blood checked. run. Get HIV, AIDS, syphilis. Everything. Go Literally get everything. everything checked. But uh. They hate me when I, because I go to my own personal doctor and I go to the health department, like, and both of them like my 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 doctor. Uh, shout out, you know you, but like <laughs> she understands. You, you get no love. Yeah, she, she, she understands. But the health department they don't like me because I ask them what is in the the syringe. Yeah, because what you're just putting in the like, what you as they're talking to you about other shit, they're filling that syringe. What's in that? What is in that? What makes up? the composites of what you're about to put into my body. Right. Because even if you get a shot, it takes like a whole day to get over your fucking shot. Yeah. And like, then you might have to go through a detox if you're a kid or something like that. Like, what's in that? And they can't even respond most of the time. They'll give you like a little pamphlet or some shit or right. tell you to yeah. look it up online. But go get checked. But if they try to give you something like look into what they're giving you because like this whole conversation we just had, one thing leads to another. If you if you introduce a foreign agent into the body, then th there's a ripple effect to everything. Oh to yeah. everything you do. There's a cause so, and like, effect. Yeah, so you yeah. gotta know what they're putting in your body, and they don't like me at the health department. Yeah, because for one, I'm there every six months. Right, like religiously right. Like, since 2012, probably. Right. Like I'm there, and I want to know again. What the fuck are you putting in my body? Right, right. Like, yo, they have to. There's another nurse that has to come in and just like rub my shoulders. <laughs> like, all right, we're gonna shoot you, and I, like, oh, no, it's cool, it's cool. I'm just kind of nervous. <laughs> right. <laughs> so. Well, look. On a brighter note, because I pulled it up, and then I realized that my Instagram was still pulled up and shit like that. Uh, we need to talk about my eyebrows. Because oh. you did not see the poor and afters. Here, uh, yes. take go to this camera here. Right. Oh. I don't know if they'll be able to see it. Boom. Close. Okay, so if you look at my eyebrows, they look they look like I got them. Okay, well they're microbladed, uh, which for those of you that don't know, is they tattoo hair like strokes onto your eyebrows. So you still have your hair. They don't shave them off and draw a whole new eyebrow. They fill in where you need hair. But I was telling Brandon earlier and Brandon didn't know. So he was blown away. Y'all are magicians. Yeah. <laughs> so <clears throat> anyway, 
I have yet to show him the before and after because it may look just normal to you, but if you would have seen my brows beforehand, you'd have been like, your brows are fucked up and what's wrong with them? <laughs> um, so anyway, and also for the ladies that are wondering about microblading, I do still fill them in, but I only do powder now or I'll do like a gel and just like comb them into their natural shape. Um, and yes, you do have to have touch ups. They're just like a normal tattoo. You get them touched up every now and then and that's it. So now we're going to get Brandon's reaction from my eyebrows. Uh, Yo, they look natural as shit. Like I didn't know until you fucking told me. I had no <laughs> clue. Women are magicians. So if, I have a picture of the first touch up and the second touch up because I've had them touched up twice. Okay, I want to see because I had no idea. That oh, is wow. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't, yeah. <laughs> I don't even feel like we ever talked to you when you had those eyebrows. No, no. you didn't. Okay. No. <laughs> and then this is the second touch up. Oh, wow. So he just went back Holy in and kind of filled shit. things in. And Can you, you show that right camera? Yes. Show the guest. Hold on, let me that's go what back you got to right the original. Now. If so, I was a woman, hold on, bring it a little bit closer. If I was a woman, I yeah, would get all the cosmetics I could, and I okay, would rob so a bank. For y'all, that is the original, like what my brows looked like beforehand, and what they were like after the first session. So what I'm going to go back and do is here is the let me get up here to where it will okay glare there you go wow so this is the first session before and this is the second uh touch up for the after so i mean they legit look like normal brows yeah for real so Best invest in my life, ladies. Yeah. I don't have to wake up and fucking put on my eyebrows every and day. And then you list. jump in the pool and they don't wash off. Exactly. Ooh. So now my favorite thing to do is like, bitch, come up and try to wipe my eyebrows off. Right. Ain't going nowhere. Can I touch it? Yeah, touch it. And those that's listening, oh, uh, this okay. is one of the reasons yeah. you need to get on a Facebook page that's so you normal. can see the lives. Because yeah. Oh, there's a comment. It, Let's see what. Uh-oh. Let's hear about the shit people are talking about my brows. <laughs> no, no, it's people joining. Oh, what man. up, Jason? What up, jo- Josh? Hey, our uh, our uh, historian is in. Yes. What up? What up? He- our political I have not met analyst. You, but hello. Like, political yeah. analyst. Our political analyst. Yes. Is that Excuse what you're going to We need him called? here when we do our drunk history, though. Yeah. Oh, yes. Hey. Yes, Josh. We're going to do a drunk history uh, who that version because it's awesome. And we yes. need you here to be able to correct anything we might get wrong. So, you're going to be the babysitter and the, the, the DD of this drunk history. Right, There right. we go. Are you with it? Type back. Let us know. Yeah. <laughs> he's probably at work right now. He does, you know. Well, I'm not going to say uh, where he works. Okay. Yeah, he's Thank probably you. tuning in at work. So, shout what out to What do you do? I, you don't- I'll tell you off camera. Oh, man. All right, fuck it. He works at Purity. What? I love your milk. Uh-huh. Give me that milk. <laughs> so, like, is our political analyst a Chippendale? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was starting to wonder what what, <laughs> what did do? you do? <laughs> Are you a hitman? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, um, I ran into him the first time at game night, and that's the game store where they sell all the tabletop games and shit. And he was one of the most informative, like, non-biased, you know. He's got his own opinion, but yeah. when he's presenting things, most of the time it's non-biased. And I appreciated that shit more than anything. Not even Shout out to, to D. Him. Even talking to him, he had a very well-rounded approach to things. Right, right. Like, I like yeah, him. he was a cool guy. Yeah. So. All right, I love all the viewers and all of y'all, but I need a cigarette. You need a cigarette? I need a cigarette. Well, let's go ahead and sign out. I mean, we got an hour and 13 minutes under our belt. We can sign the fuck out this bitch. And Brandon, hey, he can't handle the vape. He's just over there <laughs> coughing in the live stream. I'm and so shit. sorry. Hey, yo. <laughs> Thank you for uh, coming to the mothership, bitches. Yeah. So. Love y'all. I want to thank everybody. Look, tonight, we just took a night. We're like, you know, we need to recenter and focus ourselves. And just, we, man, I am trying to sign out this bitch. <laughs> Self, out. Self-control, my nigga. Keep signing out. Yeah. I said, we... You can't talk. I, I, but they, uh, look, 
They know me. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, I was like, we need to refocus and we need to go ahead and just, you know, present ourselves again and recenter ourselves. We're going to still have guests on, but every now and then we need to come on here and just talk a little bit, you know? Yeah, let us know if y'all want us to do this more to where it's just kind of us three bullshitting, having fun, talking about random shit. Y'all ain't give us enough topics. You know, those of you that are going to listen to the real podcast, you know, you're going to hear not every bit of this, but you're going to hear a lot of it. Right. So let us know if you want it to just be us again. Right. I mean, we're going to do this all the time. Because we actually genuinely enjoy being around each other. Yeah. And I see that you guys actually like watching us. And we like y'all watching us. So we're going to do this all the fucking time. Right. And we're going to do Drunk History. Right? Yes. 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 Drunk History. Drunk History. <laughs> so, I mean, this is going to be more to tune into. Oh, and we're going to do a taste test. When oh, we yeah. get our... Oh. Uh, Eyes darted and T's crossed. Yeah, I think we're doing wings first because a lot of the wing places have already offered it up. We're doing yes. wings Who, first. What, what wing okay. spots were they in? Uh, I don't, I don't want to say yet. Too. Yeah. Okay. So, that. but Willie's confirmed. What's up, Bolo? Appreciate the love. Yes. Thank yes. you. Willie's like wings. wings. Yes. Uh, so what I brought up earlier before we sign off is I watch a lot of YouTube and there's a video that's or a. Um, it's a BuzzFeed stream, and they do what's called Worth It. And they go to three different locations that are at three different price points, and it's all the same type food, though, and they determine which one is the most kind of like bang for your buck as far as good food and make sure the price point is reasonable. Correct. So that's what I think that we need to do. And if y'all have any suggestions, you know, let us know. Get on, whether it be this live post or if it's, We've got an email, too. Yeah, if it's an email or message us on the page, let us know, you know, what you would like to see. Because I'm trying to get some crazy stuff going on. Can we try some (laughs) uh, some vegan food? Yeah, vegan food. Yeah, I'm down. I, I don't think I've ever eaten vegan food, so y'all would be my first. That would be cool. It's good. It'll be Let me tell you something about vegan cooking. They use their spices. They seasoning. They that food. <laughs> white girls and seasoning. Right. There's no white girls su- vegan chefs. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So you know that's vegan. I had a uh, some sweet potato boats one time. Ooh, sweet potatoes. Yeah, and it was it was sweet seasoned potatoes. with like Cajun, and it was spicy, and it was good. I know that yeah. that sweet and spiced together. Yes, Ugh. yes. I was so hungry. Yeah, there it is. So it's like it's like fucking an angry girlfriend. You got that sweet love making. <laughs> this is angry as fuck. So it's spicy as shit. <laughs> so he makes food sound so good. It's yeah. like fucking an angry girlfriend. Yeah. I want to try that. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get two helpings You're of that? Abstinence. Yeah. You can't do shit. To the end of August, you are completely right. So mm, I can't everybody, believe that. All the ones I'm talking to in my DM. I'm sorry. <laughs> we can only now you be know. Friends. <laughs> right, right. We can only be friends. And Abby yeah. Smith joined. Thank I don't know so who Abby Smith. Like, maybe I, I do know who Abby Smith is. Ever since the Sorry podcast started, I've been getting way more uh, pleasant compliments in my DM. Yeah, like it's very nice. Yeah, it's it's really cool. You see what happens when you don't act like a nigga? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm, I'm pure see, nigga. <laughs> I think y'all have been getting nice compliments, whereas I'm getting a whole bunch of raunchy shit. Yeah. Well, because men like you. I, look, I stopped messaging you. No, I'm, just <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. I don't be in here inbox like that. You be all to, business. You have to think about like when it comes to men, we have like in big pink. Shout out to Louis C.K. In big pink bubble letters in front of us as we walk around, we just have pussy. Yeah. And it's very hard for us to ignore this big old sign that's flashing in neon pink light. So just once you realize that we're that's in front of us, then just go from there. Advice to everyone, <laughs> to all the ladies out there. 
All right, I'm sorry, but men are horny. But you know what though? We can turn it, you into like an icon. This is a platform for you to rise and become an icon if you. Need Pamela to Anderson, you can be a cartoon and have your own stripperella. What's up? <laughs> Here we go. We're not gonna talk about the cartoons, <laughs> right? Go. But yeah, it's just a matter. You should get merchandise and start selling it. You got a bunch of thirsty dudes in there. Here, buy this T-shirt Ooh. with this cartoon me on it. Yes. Or hair, buy this calendar of all me. You gotta turn shit well, into sugar. All of you stripper, that are I'm, I'm thirsty as fuck, get some water and. Oh, sell them oh. the calendars. They want calendars. <laughs> sell them. The what are you gonna do when we go to like a, makes the world a con away. and people want to take pictures with you? You gonna take That's pictures? That's fine. Yeah, I'll yeah. take pictures of them. Okay. Cool. But that doesn't mean I want you in my inbox saying I want to lick your butthole. <laughs> oh, your <Ooh>. fritter. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tickle your fritter? That comes with the territory. Yeah. 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 What are you looking up over there? Stripperella. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Stripperella lit. Stripperella needs a mic on this show. <laughs> hey. A crime You've fighting seen stripper, stripper though, haven't have, you? Have. Yeah. A crime fighting stripper. But she doesn't want to be a crime fighting stripper. You should be a crime fighting stripper. You're mm. badass. You you obviously can fight. And you're in you're in great shape. I think that if you were a crime fighting stripper I am in a great shape. I've been exactly. around. <laughs> <laughs> Hell all right. That's just who they're signing off. Yeah. <laughs> we're out. We appreciate everything, y'all. Um <laughs> I'm going to have the Patreon up soon. Business at the end always. I'm going to have the Patreon up soon. We need sponsors, advertising spots. We need everything that we can get to keep it rolling, man. I'm not trying to make a fortune. I'm just trying to fund us to go out and expand, bring guests in from out of state. You know, I can't I can't bring this celebrity in without at least funding travel, you know? I'm trying to do some things here for you guys. So, yeah, there it is. What did you have to say? Uh, Instagrams, um, Facebooks, MySpace, Snapchat, yeah, MySpace. <laughs> people, Twitter, yeah, how can, Twitter, how can people uh, reach you, reach you guys? Uh, just come to the page, and I'll, I'll, I'm gonna have a uh, what page? The Facebook, who that page? And go. I'll have the, uh, I have the Patreon tagged at the top. Not tonight. I'm not fucking with it tonight. I'm about to go smoke a cigarette with these fools, but. uh soon and we've got a donation with Streamlabs. it goes straight to a paypal account for the company so check it out man check it out support right. and show love yeah so if y'all want to find me on instagram it is actually let me double check because i've done changed my tag name so uh-oh. uh we should probably i didn't know you could do that uh mm. fuck yeah mm-hmm. it is rachie underscore baby 96 that's r-a-c-h-i-e underscore baby spelt normal uh, 96 so get on there follow me show some love yeah. alright y'all um, this is the mothership what you we got something I didn't get to throw yeah. my Instagram the, oh throw your Instagram <laughs> throw that Instagram Thank throw that Instagram man. in a circle bitch <laughs> <laughs> yo uh, Yeezy LaFlair on uh, Instagram and Yeezy LaFlair 69 on Snapchat and Facebook just find me I'm on the Who That podcast page but Yeezy LaFleur on mix of Kanye and Gucci. But this is the SS Who That. Finish it up. Signing out. Peace.